Hello everybody and welcome to Fruits Basket Season 2 Episode 11 Anime Review. First off, gonna apologise this is a day late, couldn't get it yet done yesterday. Although, probably could have done it, but I would have been really tired and really low energy and in a hushed whisper because it was really loud, really loud, really late. Uh, so, I figured it's probably better to have a little bit more energy, uh, you know, today as opposed to crank one out tomorrow or very... Very tired, that would not be good, words are hard. But anyway, this episode itself, bloody hell, was a good one again. I feel like that's going to happen a, a lot. Uh, I was just thinking, you know, Kagura, not really had an episode dedicated to her. And now, we do. Uh, and yeah, it was it was good. Like, the whole, her like, whole little mini arc in this episode, where it was like, yeah, here's when it started. And then it came back around. And it was great. And I uh, love it. And she got, who's, not who's remmed, she got, I love Amelia. But that's fine, uh, you know, stuff happens, poor Kagura, you know, but hey, move on, live long and prosper, uh, and all that, uh, I, I, I don't know what I'm saying really. Also, Tor Toru, like, started her quest to figure out stuff, that, that also happened, uh, but the focus was on Kagura for definite, but anyway, let's jump into this episode properly and see how it all went down and everything, let's do this. So Kagura realizes she has to talk to Kyo about the reason she fell in love with him. And at that point, I was like, oh, w w something's going to happen in this episode. Like immediately out of the gate, it was like, oh, something's going to happen. It took a while to get there, but boy, did it get there. Uh, IMA was waiting at home for the for the main gang. Shigure forgot to lock the door, it turned out, which is hell of a thing. Toro goes to use the phone. We don't know who that is yet. I mean, we've learned in about three minutes, but... For Ryan, also no opening this week, which, okay. They played the song later, which we'll get to, as I said, but uh, pretty weird. IMA yeah, basically brings the mood up. There's some shenanigans, comedic stuff going on. Says he was going to sleep with Toru. Not not like that, like, like hugging in the in the same bed. Nothing nothing untoward. But both Ky Ky Kyo and Yuki, I said Kyuki there. Kyuki, Team Kyuki, they were both pretty mad and they were about to murder an IMA. So don't do that. Don't joke about Toru with them two in the building. They will have your actual head. Um, anyway, yeah, next day, I get, yeah, next day makes sense. Toru goes to see Shisho. Remember him? Yeah, she goes to see him. Uh, basically asks about what Akito told her uh, about, you know, the imprisonment and all that other stuff. And also, hey, do you know anything about that curse? Because I, I want to get rid of it, kind of. You know, it's, it's, it's not it's not good. Can We need to do something about that. Uh, he says, he has a good line where she like bows, like asking like, hey, bows her head and whatever. And he's like, why do you bow your head? You've already done more than enough. And it shows like when she was hugging Kat Kyo. So it's like, it's nice. Like, she has done a lot already, but she's gonna, the whole thing they sort of hinted at in this part is like, not hinted at, it's not the right word, but she's like, there, she's like gives them, I think how they're going to end up defying Akito because they didn't say it was impossible, they said it was very hard. Like, they didn't say it's literally impossible, they were like, it feels like there's a burning in their chest or something. Meaning, they can still do it, is what I got from that. I might just be being a bit hopeful, but I'm starting to think Toru might give them all the courage to be like, No, Akito, you bad little sh shooty pants. Censored myself there. Good old Akito gets the swears out of me, he does, so... I mean, I guess that's good. Um, but yeah, he doesn't want the future either with the, you know, the one Akito talked about. And I agree, because that future sucks and it would be a hell of a downer ending if that's what happens. Um, Bonds of Blood, Zodiacs have their little world. They explain it well in the show, I'm not going to go too deep into it. There were some good lines, the whole Bonds of Blood thing uh, and all that as well. Even with all this being said, Toru still doesn't want to give up, so she's still going to look for a way to do it. Uh, and then... Uh, Shisho gives a great chat up line. He's like, your smile makes the world grow gentler. And I'm like, write that down. That's a good one. Uh, and of course, it makes even better sense in context because they were talking about how the Zodiac have their own little world with Akito. And it's like, yeah, her smile makes that world grow brighter. It's so nice. You see, it works double, double as good. Um, Kagura finds Kyo and he says they have their, you know, the shenanigans that they do. He says, we need to talk. And at this point, she knows, right? She's getting I Love Amelia. But, uh, yeah, that's, um, 
she she definitely knew. She was like, I'll only listen if we go on a date. And I'm like, oh, it's like the last, the last one. She definitely knows. I'm gonna feel sad. I did feel a bit sad. Damn it, Kagura. I didn't particularly like Kagura before, but they've done that thing again that they've done with basically every character where I either don't like or don't care much for a character, and then they give them just at least one episode when it's like, okay, no, I like them now. They they they. They're in my good books, and yep, did it again, wouldn't you know. Um, yeah, they set that their date up, whatever, not much more on that. More on them later, a lot more on them. Uh, Toru runs into Rin, or Isuzu. I'm probably going to keep calling her Rin, because uh, it's shorter, basically, is is the re very lazy reason for why I'm going to choose to call her Rin. It's less syllables. Breath is important, you know, uh, so there's that. Uh, she runs into Rin, and Rin basically says, stop hovering about, buzz off, basically. She goes to see Shisho then, uh, to see basically what Toru wanted. And then after, upon learning that, she's like, I'm not going to let that girl do anything unnecessary. So Rin is okay with what's going to happen. Or she's, no, she can't not be aware of it. Uh, also, people, I've just remembered this, because uh, Rin is a woman. People told me that, um... What, what the hell did they tell me? They told me that I misinterpreted the, that woman from Akito last week. Thank you for telling me I misinterpreted it. Words, words are hard. Uh, thank you for telling me I misinterpreted it. But uh, don't tell me who it was. Because, you know, they didn't make it obvious. Don't tell me. Um, but thank you for telling me I completely got the wrong end of the stick, though. Uh, but yeah, Toru... It looks like Rin is going to be in opposition to Toru. So that could be weird. She'll win her over somehow. I say somehow, just by being Toru. Like, like Shisho said, just be yourself. See, it all comes back. It's all, it's all wrapping around. It's got layers, this thing, and they're like, they wrap around these layers. Um, Toru's bad at keeping secrets at home. She uh, is meant to be keeping the, the meeting with Shisho a secret. But she's like, I saw Rin the other day. Yuki's like, where'd you see her? And she's like, uh, the town. And she's not good at keeping secrets. Kyo shows up also, tells them about their, his date, uh, and then there's there's Yuki glares at him at one point. Uh, basically, normalcy, shenanigans, stuff going on there. Back to normal, back to everyday life, which is a good place to end, because where we're going, I say end, in the first half, because where we're going now, it's Fields Town, Fields Country, Fieldsville, whatever you want to call it, there's Fields is the point. So yes, Kyo, looking very dapper in his smart shirt, meets up with Kagura for their dato. He needs to be a little bit more bothered though. I mean, he's not bothered, but pretend, Kyo. Come on, come on. This is this is like her, this is her last last not even last chance, last privilege. I don't know what to call it, but yeah, she she knows, you know, everybody knows. So put a little bit of effort in. God damn it, Kyo. Uh, she can see how he's changed with his reactions and everything, which is like. Even, like, this whole, like, setup bit was, like, everyone knows this is the last time, innit? They're not writing Kagura out, but we're not going to get the, you know, the love triangle storyline. Because, quite frankly, they got bigger fish to fry. Like, so, making it so that they have lives to go back to, basically. Toru needs to, needs to work on that. Um, but, yeah, we see a flashback of their first meeting. Kyo's mum, we find out, didn't let him watch TV. Which, I get the sense that Kyo's mum was really strict, but really kind. That's just my interpretation of it. I could be completely off. But based on like every the little pieces of information we've been told here and there and everywhere, that's sort of what I'm getting. So, yeah. Uh, Kyo's figured out where they're going on their data. And uh, it turns out where they went was the same hill, park... Same place that was in the flashback, basically, where they first met. Full circles, you know. A lot of a lot of circles going on right now. Um, in the past, she took the rosary and saw his true form. We knew about, she knew that already, but now we actually see it. She was bad. She ran away. You don't run away from Kyo. See? Toru's better than you, Kagura. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be doing that this moment. This is all about Kagura accepting her faults, basically. Um... She hated being a Zodiac at first, and then she was happy when she met Kyo, because he had it so much worse than her, basically. Which is... Yeah, it's terrible. It's a horrendous thing to think. But... 
I mean, this whole... Like, that's the point. You're supposed... She knows that's not a good thing to think. We know, we know that. Uh, and this whole thing is like her accepting it. And then, well, well you know what? I'll just, I'll just get to it, you know? I'll keep going. Because, uh, you know, keep going. Uh, she always looked down on him. She felt unclean. Don't know why they didn't use the word dirty. Like, is, I didn't even know unclean was a word. I just, dirty or messy or grubby. Or I can't think of another one, but words to that effect. I don't think I've ever said unclean before in my life, so pretty weird, but whatever. Um, she wished she could do everything over and then accept accept his his monster form, which is you know, is it arrogant. Uh, that that's a good word. Arrogant seems like it would fit sort of. Uh, so there's that, uh, and then basically she's like. Her love was for her for her own sake. It was like rationalizing her feelings. Basically, it weren't real. She don't really love Kyo, uh, and then so that's you know feels feels bad for Kyo right there. But then he says he'll never fall in love with her. Basically, the I love Amelia moment, uh, which uh, I mean it's com it's pretty comp com comparable is the word. But then he, she goes to walk away and he's like, he was happy no matter what the reason, he was happy that she played with him because he had literally no one else. And it's like, yo. And then, and then like, the, I think this is when the opening kicks in and it's like, oh, I know where we're going. And we do we do go where we go. Because then she was like, yeah, it, it started, it started like she didn't really love him. But now, as time went on, she actually did really love him and it's like oh no oh god your your character arc in the space of five minutes like i went from not caring to liking you in the space of five minutes kagura how do you do this you're very impressive uh but yeah then there's there's hugs joe says thanks for for loving him like basically gets an i love you and he says oh thanks you know which outside of context seems really really rude in context it works don't get me wrong but if, if you know without the context don't do that. Don't do that, kids. That's not that's not a good plan. You may get hit. Not speaking from personal experience. Are you kidding me? I would never do that. But uh yeah. With context it works though. After that, Kagura goes home and, and uh, she's got red eyes and her mum's concerned, as you would be. Um mom, I thought Mama was gonna go beat up Kyo for making her daughter cry, you know, but no, that's not where we're going. Uh Kagura just like he's like, let this Kyo be with let me have this Kyo at least until the morning comes. I'm like, that's a good line. Because it basically is the last day. Obviously things are going to be different between them now. I hope so. I hope Kagura is not super clingy now. It'd be kind of weird after we have this big climactic scene, I guess. For it to just go back to normal. Unless she's doing it, like, as a joke. Like, and then she's like, nah, I'm just kidding, mate. You know. Uh, who knows? I'm not sure. We're, this is, uh, yeah. This was the end of the episode, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and it was, as I said... It was feelsy, made me like Kagura, which is, is good. I liked her little little mini arc uh, and everything. Her admitting her own mistakes, faults, whatever you want to call it. Like that, that's, that's growth. That's the best being, a, a, a bigger, being a metaphorically the bigger man. They don't say being the bigger woman, they should do, uh, or person. What's the saying? I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say though. Uh, it's, yeah, but now, now I'm wondering, well, I said I'm wondering where we're going. Kyo likes Toru. Who does Toru like? That's what we don't know. Toru likes everyone. Toru's just too... Toru's too pure for any one soul. Toru loves the world. That's where we're at. And she's going to save the day somehow. I have no idea how. I'm rambling now. I think I'll wrap this up now. It was a good episode, is, the, is what I'm trying to say again. Sorry it was late. My review, anyway. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching this review. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider subscribing and stuff. For more reviews, that would help me out immensely. I will see you next week on Monday. You know, on, on time tomorrow next week, hopefully, with a bit of luck. See you then, take care, and bye guys.